right, let me go ahead and get the Instagram going. Cool. Okay, today we are taking our workout and flipping it on its head. Uh, so we do a lot of similar type stuff with our intervals and whatnot. Uh, we're still doing intervals, we're still doing bands, all the good stuff. Um, but today we're doing a more cardio-centric workout, which I know sometimes isn't our favorite, uh, but we only usually do about one a week. So today, the exercises are going to be more based on getting your heart rate up. We're going to do intervals of 30 seconds, and we're going to do those 30-second intervals of the same exercise four times in a row. You'll do one, 10 seconds rest, the second, 10 seconds rest, four times. Um, and because we're doing a more cardio-centric workout today, our breaks that we normally take to get our heart rate up are instead going to be focused on the core. Uh, and that's one area that I think we can all afford to work on more. Um, I know a lot of instructors have different exercise philosophies. And a big part of mine is that because the core is the center of all of our movement, if we can build a really strong core, uh, it directly affects all the other movements we do in our body. So strong core, we're good to go. So it's going to be a little different. We're going to be getting the heart rate up during the actual exercises and slowing it down during our core breaks. And we'll take about four or five of those core bursts throughout the workout. So that's enough talking. Uh, let's go ahead. Bands are on. Water is had. Let's come on up to stand. Um, a lot of the upper body exercises are going to be fairly familiar. We're just doing those shorter bursts. So feel free to push yourself a little bit harder during that time, knowing that you'll get more frequent breaks of rest. So to start, just give the shoulders a big shrug. Got Zoom going, got Instagram going. I'll start to set up my timer. Great. All right. And then start to reach up, grab your right hand with your left, big side body stretch. Awesome. And then go ahead and put side. Sorry, I'm just getting my timer going. There we go. And come back through center. So first exercise is our forearm fireworks. It's just these guys. So make sure that your cycle is started. And the name of the game today is to move fast. So sometimes I'm yelling at us nonstop, go slower, go slower. These exercises are all pretty safe. So go as fast as you feel comfortable. So first 30 seconds, forearm fireworks. Forearm fireworks. We're going in three, two, and one. Out and in as fast as you can. So 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Really work through it. Good. And if there's anyone new here, either on the Zoom or the Instagram with our bands, different than normal exercises, we actually work smaller muscles and then bigger muscles. That's why we're starting with some littler movements and working up to the bigger stuff. Good. Last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 30 seconds rest, or 30 seconds rest, 10 seconds rest, shake it out, relax. All right, we're going again in four, three, two, and one, forearm fireworks, extend out and in. Really pump it fast. And I like to use the analogy here that I'm like grabbing a stress ball, squeezing and releasing, squeezing and releasing, squeezing that ball as much as I can. Good. Woo, I feel it burning already. Last 10. Good. Five, four, three, two, rest. 10 seconds. Shake it out. All right. Setting up. Third set in four, three, two. Let's go. And there's a term in CrossFit called AMRAP, as many reps as possible. So we're channeling our AMRAP today. Squeeze it out. Oh. <laughs> After yesterday's workout, I was really feeling my triceps. A little sore last night. Awesome. Keep going, keep going. Last 10. After this, we have one more set. Five, four, three, two, 
rest. All right. Good job, gang. Final set in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Pump those forearms up. When I look down, I can see the veins in my arms already, and that is good stuff. Pump it, pump it, pump it. Cycles are going. Last 10 seconds, all out. This is our final set of the day. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Whew, good job, everybody. Next exercise, we have our crab walk. I come down onto the floor. My goodness, my forearms are tired. <laughs> I press myself up, I walk forward, and backwards, doing my best not to let my butt hit the ground the whole time. First 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Crab walk forwards and crab walk back. Good, going as fast as we can. <laughs> Good. We are already half done. Keep going. Man, my triceps were already sore from yesterday. Now they're really feeling it. Last 10. Lift those hips up even higher. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds, give the wrist a roll. All right, setting up for our next set in four, three, two, let's go, crab walk. Great. The higher you lift your hips, the harder this is, and that's what I want to see. Challenging yourself as you use your coordination, your balance, and also your core to work through this. Good. Last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest. Stretching the wrist out. We've got our third set in five, four, three, and two. Walk it out. Crab walk. Let's see who we've got on with us today. Good job, gang. I know this is hard stuff. We're going to be tired. And that's exactly what we want. Is just pushing ourselves that extra little bit in a safe way to grow stronger. Diane, good to see you. Looks good. All right, last 10. Then we have our final set. Nice tie. Solid crew today. Five, four, three, two, and one. 10 seconds rest. Last set. If your wrists start to get tired, you can always do a tricep set extension instead. We're going four, three, two, and one. Call it out. <laughs> See if you can move a little bit faster. Awesome. Half done. Go all in for me. Last 10. Hips up, hips up. Keep moving, keep moving. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's give those wrists a roll. Good, and because we did so much work on our palms, go ahead and come onto the backs of your hands very gently, spread the fingers nice and wide and work towards straightening the arms. Let's release those guys before we keep going. All right, good, all right, release the hands. Next up, we have our bicep curls. So we know we can move super fast with these. And if you want to set your cycle to be a little bit harder, go ahead and do that now. First 30 seconds, we're going in three, two, and one. Pump it fast. Awesome. Whew. That's the stuff. Half done. Get those fists all the way up towards your shoulders. Contract, contract without letting your arms fully straighten out. Up, up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. 
10 seconds. Ooh, pull the elbows in, second set in four, three, two, let's go. Pump it up, up, up. Good, making sure we keep our core engaged the whole time, especially as we start moving fast, there's a tendency to kind of sway. Keep your body super strong. Keep going taller from the crown of your head. Up, up. Yes, muscles should be starting to get tired. We know we get a rest. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Maybe shrug the shoulders out. Noticing if you're kind of hunching as you're doing this. You want to keep these somewhat relaxed. Third set in three, two, one, here we go. All right. We're already halfway through the move. Starting strong on this Tuesday, getting that heart rate going. Pump, pump. Mm -hmm. As many reps as you can possibly do in this time. Last 10 seconds. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest option to clasp the hands for the bicep stretch. We've got our final set. Pull the elbows in. Give me three, two, and one. Let's go. Last one. Yeah. Good. Really squeeze those fists. Get those arms up. Great. After this, we're going to take a quick stretch, and then we'll come down onto the mat for our last two exercises. All in, all in, all in. Everything you've got, everything you've got. Less 10. There we go. Squeeze those muscles. They're burning. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bicep stretch. Clasp the hands. Open the muscles up. Now, extending the arms away from your body. Little pulses up, up. Keeping your spine straight. Active stretch. Give me seven, six, five, four, three two, and rest. Next exercise, we have a mountain climber push-up reach. I'll demonstrate. So I start in plank. I go one, two, three, four, drop down, reach, press up. One, two, three, four, drop down, reach, press up. Okay, and you can always drop your knees and use them to help you get down and up, okay? First 30 seconds, we're starting in plank. In five, four, three, and two. Give me those mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Drop down, reach, press right back up. So it's like a reverse push-up. Keep going. Woo, that's it. Yes. Good, working the muscles of the chest and the core. Last 10. See if you can do two more. Fly through it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees, 10 seconds. Woo. Let the head relax, let the shoulders relax. Start to make your way back into plank. Second set, ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four. Down, reach, press back up. And as you lower down and press yourself back up, try and keep your spine straight so we're not sagging the hips. Woo, go Bonnie, go. Yeah. Fantastic work, everyone. Last 10, go all in. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. Catch your breath. Let it slow down. Make your way back into plank. We're going again in three, two, and one. Third set, go. Yes. As you press yourself back up, engage your core and your glutes to help support the body and your arms. Half done. Ty is flying, sitting in Sophia, looks awesome. I love seeing you guys do this work. It's hard and it's so important. Give me one more. Four, three, 
two, and rest. After this, we have one more set. Sometimes our cardio days are the hardest days because I know we're all slightly adverse to jumping and doing this stuff, but you guys are doing amazing. And the good news is we only usually have one cardio day a week, so we're getting it done with. All right, final set. Make your way back into plank. We're going in three, two, and one. Give me four mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Drop down. Reach. Press back up. One, two, three, four. Down. Reach. And up. Keep going. We are flying. Good job, Instagram. Welcome to those who just joined. Superb. Last 15 seconds. Give me everything you've got. See if you can do three, maybe four more. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Roll the shoulders out. For our last upper body exercise, it is a forearm hip dip. So I said, today is also going to be a core centric day. So everything we do is gonna have some element of that. I come on to my forearm. I drop down and up, down and up. And because we're doing four rounds, you get two rounds per side. So make your way onto one forearm. Let's make sure we're in good form. So my elbows underneath my shoulder. All right, time is going in four, three, two, press up, forearm, hip dip, up, up, that's it. Try and keep your hips off the floor the whole time. This bottom arm is working to support the entire weight of the body, shoulder and bicep strength, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Good, get those hips up even higher. Yes, press your forearm into the floor, push that thing away from you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, make your way onto your other side. We have 10 seconds, which is used for a transition here. Roll on over. Check to make sure elbows under shoulder. You don't need to watch me. You know what we're doing. We're going in three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Nice. Awesome. Whew. And for this one, the main goal here is to keep your hips from touching the floor. So as long as you're doing that, I'm a happy camper. Mm -hmm. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll over back onto your first side. Last set on this side. We're moving so fast. Good. Pick the hips up. Three, two, and one. Here we go. The one thing I do like about these intervals is they're so fast, it doesn't even really give us enough time to like think, ah, I want to stop. You just kind of got to keep moving. So keep doing it. Just pay attention to your body, making sure that everything you're doing feels safe and strong. That's the most important thing here always. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Half done. If you feel comfortable adding speed here, by all means, this is your chance. Cool. Give me five. Four, three, two, and one. Make your way over to your other side. Last set, forearm, hip dip. Good, set yourself up, elbow under shoulder. We're going in three, two, and one. Down and up. Great. Press those hips up, root that bottom arm into the floor. That one arm is supporting the whole weight of the body. That is strength right there. Good. We're also working into our oblique sides of the abs. Last 10 seconds. Woo, see if you can give me six more for six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Now, instead of getting our heart rate up like we normally do, we're going to let our heart rate rate drop down. Our three moves today our 30 seconds of a roll back, we roll back, we roll up. So we do 30 seconds of those, 30 seconds in and out crunch, in, out, in, out. And then the last 30 seconds are straight leg bicycles. Okay, I'll walk you through all these, okay? So first 30 seconds, rooted roll up in three, 
two, and one. As you do it, I want you to keep all 10 toes rooted into the floor the whole time. Don't let them lift. And the focus here of these intervals is really to target every single muscle of your core. So don't worry about how fast you're going. Working on how well you're doing, keeping your toes down as you roll back and up. Last 10 seconds, then we're going to come into that in and out crunch. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Either root your hands into the mat or extend them out, out and in. 30 seconds. Good. And if these intervals are particularly hard or frustrating for you, what an amazing opportunity to learn about the potential to gain more core strength, because it is so important for every other movement that we do in our body. Last 10. Then we're coming down for that straight leg bicycle in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down, elbow to knee, straight legs, cycle side to side. And because this is a core interval, not a cardio interval, I don't care how fast you go. Focus on getting your knee to opposite elbow instead, finding that contact, building that strength. Half done. Oh, I see legs flying and I love it. These are so good. Nice. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rock side to side, release the back. And start to rock and roll up to sit. And let's swap out our bands, arm bands for leg bands. Good job, gang. All right, we've got even more powerful stuff for our legs. And our question of the day is, it'll be a simple one. Let's think, which is the question of the day? Be? Yesterday, our question of the day is, what do you like most about the place where you live? Today, the question is, do, 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 do. Hmm. <laughs> gosh, we've asked a lot of questions in the last like three months. I really am having to challenge myself today. Um, but oh, question of the day. What is your favorite meal of the day and why? And I'll go ahead and start first. My field favorite meal of the day is breakfast because I wake up every day hungry. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, you know, I can just skip breakfast and like eat a little later. No, I wake up and I'm like, let's do this. So I like having a nice big breakfast to get my day going. Keeps me from getting really hangry too. All right, Steve says breakfast, same reason, yep. And it's simple, it's so simple, yeah. Sometimes I'll even make breakfast for dinner just because I like breakfast food, it's just who I am. <laughs> All right, George says dinner since I usually eat one meal a day. See, yeah, I would be really mean to everyone around me if I only ate one meal a day. They'd probably ask me not to teach these classes anymore. It just wouldn't be great if I waited until dinner to eat. <laughs> Sophia says breakfast because it can be sweet or salty. Bonnie says lunch. I am a late breakfast. And John says lunch, first meal of the day except for Sundays. It's funny, most of us base our preferences around how frequently we like to eat. And it seems like whichever meal is usually your first one of the day is the one that's your favorite, except Cindy and Sophia who like breakfast because there's variety, which I totally get. Diane says breakfast because I'm hungry and like the choices. Yep, exactly. Cool. All right. Well, now that we've established our favorite meal of the day and why, let's work into the legs with some calf moves. Grab your water if you've not already done so. Take a big sip, gotta stay hydrated, especially in the summer months, especially always, especially with the bands. And let's come on up to stand. All right, bands are on. Friendly reminder to grab the outer edges of your bands and hike them up so our tubing is at an angle on the outer edges of our legs. 
And those on Zoom know this, anyone who's on Instagram who might be joining for the first time, we are working our legs now after working our arms because we always wanna work arms and then legs with our bands and never at the same time. So we are on our leg portion of the workout now. The move for our calves is the overhead ball slam heel lift. So I grab an imaginary ball, I drop it down, reach up, come onto my tiptoes, drop it down, up and down. So we're really focusing on getting those heels up, working into the calves, challenging that element of balance. So we have 30 seconds. Grab your imaginary ball. We're going in four, three, two, and one. 30 seconds, up and down, four rounds, 10 seconds rest in between, up and down. Good. And the reason we're balancing on our tiptoes instead of jumping is because we really want to focus on working the calves here instead of just getting elevation. Good. This is my pace. If you want to go faster, by all means do it, but I want to see that pause with your heels up. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 10 seconds rest. Woo, shake it out. All right, second set, grab your imaginary ball. Drop it between your legs. We're going in three, two, one, up and down. Ball slam, heel lift. Great. All the way up on the tiptoes, cool. Woo, as you reach up and overhead, get those arms nice and straight. Always a good opportunity to open up the shoulders. Last 10. Heart rate is elevating. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the rest. Whew. As we slow our heart rate to down, I like to recommend breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. We're going again in three, two, and one. Grab your ball. Take it up and down. So excited for cardio day. I'm just I'm having trouble putting words together. Awesome. Nice, George. And as we're doing this great gym, we're figuring out ways to try and regulate our breathing. Good. Last 10. Get them up, get them up. Really fling that ball up there. Give me everything you've got. Six, five, four, three two, and rest. Woo, after this, we have one more round. Step the feet wide, grab your ball. Last set in three, two, and one. Up, up, yes. Get those arms going, get those legs going. Keep it up, keep it up. Awesome. After this, we're gonna use a quick break to fire up our core and slow our heart rate down. Last 10, all in, give me everything you got. We know we get a quick break after this. Seven, six, come on, five, four, three, two, and one, kick it out. Good, time to slow down the heart rate, drop down to your mat, root the feet into the floor. 30 seconds, roll back. And roll up. Time is rolling. Keep your feet down. Roll back. And roll up. If you want more of a challenge, do this with your feet off the floor the whole time. Okay, keep rolling through it. Pun intended. Awesome. After this, we have our ins and outs with our legs, balancing our butt. Mm-hmm. Ooh, keep going. Last 10. These ones, it's fine if they are slow. It doesn't matter. Five, four, three, two, and one. Either root the hands down or extend them out. Legs out, legs in. Legs out. Focus on getting your thighs into your chest and your belly. See if you can find contact or work towards finding contact. Great. That first move is really focused on the upper abs. This one's really focused on the lowers, exploring all the parts. Good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way onto your back. Can't find the head. 
straight leg bicycles last 30 seconds. Good. Get that elbow to your knee. Keep extending your legs straighter and straighter, using the muscles of your lower abs to pull the legs all the way into the midline of the body. And we're getting a hamstring stretch as we do this. What do you know? Last 10. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rock and roll up to sit. Hop on up to stand. Next exercise is a lunge jump. If you do not feel like jumping today, that's okay. Do reverse lunges. The exercise in its fullest extent, I have my hands to my hips, I'm jumping. Now, it's not this. I want you to get your back knee down each time you jump through it. If jumping is not in the cards today, 30 seconds, reverse lunges at the fastest clip you're comfortable with. Let's set ourselves up, left foot forward, Drop that back knee down. We're going in four, three, two, and lunge jump. Let's go. Great. Mm -hmm. And because these are hard and it is jumping, you can take them slower. Even by doing a lunge jump, your heart rate is going to skyrocket. Good. If you're doing reverse lunges, go as fast as you can. Whatever you're doing, engage your glutes to support you. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds, kick the legs out. Good, this time step the right foot forward. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Lunge jump. Great. Yes, Ty. <laughs> awesome, Jim. Look at you guys go. Heck yeah. Awesome, Diane, we're flying. Everyone that I can see doing it, no matter what variation you're doing, is going fast and really focusing, and that's what matters. Last 10. See if you can do four more. Mm -hmm. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo. We're feeling it, we're awake, we're going. All right, third set in four, three, two, and one. Lunge jump, go. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest things we're doing all day. So know that you're getting that really hard work, one of the hardest things done now. You're in the middle of it, and what are you gonna tell yourself as you're doing this? Are you gonna say yes? Or are you gonna say, I can't, because you can, I'm watching you. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. We have one more set. Slow down the breathing. All right, setting up for our last one. Three, two, and one. Let's bring it home. After this, we're gonna take a nice water break. Get that back knee down the whole time. Power through. Our next exercise is not as much jumping either. Do not fret. All right. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Good. Last 10. See if you can do four more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and water all around. Ooh, try to stay standing though. We don't wanna flop onto the ground and build up lactic acid. So keep kicking those legs out, move around. Oh, good job. I'm thirsty just watching you guys. All right. Okay, so. Next exercise is a squat, toe reach to backward kick. One of those ones that I like come up with in my mind to make things as complicated as possible, but it'll also really help our balance. So, thinking about my left leg, I squat, kick, back. Squat, kick, back, back, up, 
back. Squat, up, back. Now, as I kick back, I don't do this. As I kick forward, I don't do this. My body stays completely stable. Only the left leg. Squat, kick, back. Squat, kick, back. So using these muscles and these muscles to keep you stable. First 30 seconds, left leg only. Three, two, and one. Squat, kick, back, squat, kick, back. Sound your balance, move through it as fast as you can. Good. George, very valid point. We'll just we'll discuss. <laughs> Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. What we don't want to do is build that stuff up, the lactic acid, too soon to the point where we completely fatigue ourselves before we end our workout. So Steve or John, you can address more on that point of lactic acid. Uh, George mentioned a question in the chat, which is a very good point, okay? So next set, working into the right leg. Three, two, one, squat, kick, back, squat, kick, back. Nice. Good. Half done. Get that leg forward. Get it all the way back. Use your glutes. This one's not a jumping relating exercise. So give me all you got. Really control those muscles to get the leg as far back as you can. Last 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. All right, 10 seconds, and we're going back into the left leg. Good. We have five, four, three, and two. Here we go. Up, back. Up, back. Yes. Get low. Woo! There we go. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> awesome. Good. Notice I'm seeing a couple bodies tipping and moving, trying to keep everything really stable. So the power comes from the control over the limb. Last 10. Then we have our final one. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set yourself up. Right leg. Arms come forward. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Squat, up, back. Good. Nice. After this, we're gonna take a quick water break, then we're gonna move on to our next exercise, and then we'll dive back into the core. Yeah. Good, half done. Yeah. We're sort of ready for dinner, so you can make your way out. <laughs> okay, I'll be on just uh, I hear John in the background. Up. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. George, thank you for bringing that up. Uh, Steve and George actually just had a really interesting dialogue in the chat. If anyone wants to review about lactic acid, um, go ahead and take a sip of water. Pause for a moment, catch the breath, and we'll continue moving and grooving in a moment. All right, next exercise, we are going squat, pull, in and out, jump. So I squat, pull, in and out, squat, pull, in and out. We got it, okay? So everyone set yourself up. After this, we're gonna get our core going, and then we have one more exercise. And then we're gonna work on standing balance, which is one of my favorite things to do to challenge not only our full body, but also our core as well. 
All right, first 30 seconds. Step the feet wide. We're going in three, two, and one. Squat, pulse, in, out. Squat, pulse, in, out. So in our last exercise, we were working the fronts and the backs of the legs. Now we're working quads, glutes, but we're also opening up the hips by jumping out to the side. Whew. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. You can take your hands to hips, rock side to side, draw circles. Good. Step the feet wide. We're going again in four, three, two, and one. Squat, pulse, in, out. Squat, pulse, in, out. Good. On that pulse, dropping your butt a little bit lower. And I like to bring my hands together for balance. If you want to take them to your hips, whatever feels right here. Half done. Good, last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoa. All right, we've got two more sets. Whew. All right, we're going again in four, three, two, and one. Squat, pulse, in, out. Squat, pulse, in, out. If the jumping gets to be too much, you can always step. Good. So great, so great. Those who got your video on, keep working hard, doing what you're doing. We are all in this together. Good. See if you can sink your butt down even lower. Last 10. Nice, Jim. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. After this, we have one more set. Take them out. Walk it side to side. Woo! We're going again. In three, two, and one. Squat, pull, in, out. Everyone's form who I can see looks marvelous. Just making sure that that chest stays up. We don't want to round out the spine. Great, Diane. Look at you guys jumping. These are so good. We are half done. After this, we know we get a quick break to get our core going. And then we have our last exercise of the day. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone kick it out. Make your way down to sit. First 30 seconds, glue all 10 toes into the floor. We roll back. We roll up. We are going. Good. Try and get those arms in contact with the floor as you reach back if you can. Why not open up the shoulders a little bit? Half done. And then we're coming up to sit for the ins and outs with the legs. Give me eight. Seven, one or two more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Either hands root into the floor or arms come out, out and in, seated crunch. Great. Each time you do it, bring your knees a little bit closer towards your body. Yeah. Good. After this, we're coming down for our straight leg bicycle. Last 10. See if you can do five more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We come down straight leg, side to side. Good. 
Pace is up to you. I move a little bit faster because core is one of my strong points. But everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. And the most important thing here is to do your best to get really deep into it instead of just flinging the legs around. Great form, everyone. Awesome. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, rock and roll up to sit. And come on up to stand. Last exercise of the day. It is a lateral one knee pull. My arms are together. I lunge out to the side, up, out, up, okay? You can also pull that knee all the way up if you want, either way, up, okay? So we're doing only one side at a time, 30 seconds. Try and move as quickly as you can. So we're gonna start with the left leg. Good, arms up, we're going in four, three, two, I lunge out, pump, out, Pump. That's it. Good. Ooh. I see some people working a little bit slower to get the balance, and that's fine. You know what's best for your body. We're doing the move all together. It looks good. So last 10. Give me five, four, three, Two and rest. Next, we're going to work into the right leg. Arms up. We're going in four, three, two, and one. Lateral lunge, pump, lunge, pump. Nice form. Last exercise of the day. Because it's a two-sided exercise, we only have to do two reps, or two sets per side. A lot more than two reps. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds. All right, we're gonna work into that left leg one more time. In five, four, three, and two. Give me a lunge, pump, lunge, Pump, arms are moving, legs are moving, peripheral heart action, different things are moving in different directions away from your heart. The heart has to work harder to pump blood to those areas. Therefore, boom, heart rate goes up. Hey, good, last set of this side of the day. Then we do standing balance. We've already done our core and we're good to go. Give me five. Four, three, two, and rest. Last 10 second rest. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, setting up for the right side. We're going in three, two, and one. Last set. Good, see if you can spring off that right heel to get the leg out moving through this fast. We know how to do these. We know our bodies well. I've seen everyone work them hard. Option to add that little extra bit of speed here to give ourselves the final challenge of the day. Nice, Diane. Good, George. Woo, last 10. Uh, give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Hands on hip, circle them around, releasing the hips. Other way. Good. And we're gonna work on challenging our core via our standing balance today. So sometimes we have balance centric days. Today is not so much one of those. But anytime we do balance work, all the movement, like we talked about in the beginning of our practice, should ideally come from our core. So these last few things, think about your center as being the driving force for this. Start to take your arms straight up and overhead. Lift your right knee up and down. Try not to let your foot touch the floor. Pump up, up. Keep pulling your belly button in towards your spine the whole time. Lift, lift. 
Good. We got 30 seconds of this. Fingertips nice and long away from the ears. Reach those arms straight. Good. We're already half done. Yeah. Get that leg up even higher. Awesome. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. Left leg up. Up. 30 seconds. Imagine you're balancing something on the top of your head. <laughs> Good. Pump. Pump. If you want to go fast for this one too, you can. But I really want you to focus on how high you can get that knee into the chest. Last 10. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Release the arm, take them out by the sides. Last two steps, we're going out to the right, up, up, working the sides of the abs, 30 seconds. Try and get your foot as high up as you can, think using the sides of your body to lift, lift. And ideally, the left side stays nice and straight. Good. Last 10 seconds, that is. Give me three more reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax the arms. Shrug them out. Last set. Arms out to the sides, working into the left leg. Right side of the body stays stable. Here we go. Up. Up. And it's a lot easier for me to get my other leg up. That's just the way my body is. So notice if maybe you have stronger side. I know most people have a stronger leg or a more balanced leg when they stand on one. Good. Up, keep extending through those fingertips. Foot to hand. Woo, there we go. Last 10. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll the shoulders out. Step the feet slightly wider than hip distance. Big side stretch over to the left. Big side stretch over to the right. Start to bring yourself back through center. And rounding out nice and slowly, pull yourself into a forward fold. Once you're here, you can take bends and alternating knees. We'll take our last three big breaths together, big inhale. Let it go. Even bigger breath in. Let it go. And last biggest inhale of the day. Slip in even more air and let it go. Roll it slowly to stand. Reach the arms up and round of applause at the top. Nice job, guys. We did our cardio for the week. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, no gators are here <laughs> tonight watching you. Uh, Instead of go gator, it's no gator. <laughs> We'll just say it. Go Gators. Go Gator. Go. There's no confederate of Gators, as we learned. A group of Gators is called. All right. Take care. Do, do you have a minute right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you explain the difference of the lactic acid buildup to me, please? Okay. If you don't mind? Um, so um, if you want to build bigger muscles, mm -hmm. um, and that's not necessarily what athletes want to do unless you're a bodybuilder or you need to gain weight in some way then mm -hmm. uh, the best thing to do is to go very very slowly and to mm -hmm. move your muscle um, as it's contracted both in the concentric and eccentric direction so, so that's the same with the bands as without the bands it's like yes. general principles of building both. okay so that i know about without the bands yeah. sometimes the things are like different with the bands and those yes. are the nuances i'm still learning no, like if, smaller if muscles first <laughs> yes but if you want to build the size of the muscle that's what you should do it's a uniform with the yeah. bands without the bands okay yeah, yeah. That, that's all
And so that applies to lactic acid in that letting it build up with those like slower movements is like allowing it to, to build. No, well, not and only is it allowing it to build, not only is it allowing it to build, when you, let's say you do a squat or you do a, mm -hmm. a bicep curl, that actual mm -hmm. movement is, it's like a pump. It's pushing the blood out of the limb. So the right. faster you go, it's like a bicycle pump. You're really pumping a lot of the blood out of the limb. If you mm -hmm. go slowly, then mm -hmm. most of the blood is staying in the limb and therefore the lactate is also staying in the limb, which you want if you want to build bigger muscles. Um, right, so right, if, okay. If you don't want to build bigger muscles, you want to be, you want to have aerobic, uh, a greater aerobic capacity, et cetera, then, then you do other things. But in this particular case, when you want to uh, get bigger muscles, that right. uh, protocol. Got it. So it applies the same as the bands as it does to like a normal yes. workout principle. Okay. Yes. Cool. Thank you. And thank you, George, for that as well. That's, except, that's what Machito is doing in a lot of his workouts, right? Is the slow and, and let the lactate, lactic acid build up. Yes. Yes. Now, the, hmm. the other thing too that's, that's good for Katsu, and you want to build bulk, like let's say you're a, um, a college football player and you're going to the uh, NFL combine and you just want to look mm -hmm. bigger and be bigger. The good thing about katsu is unlike traditional weight training, you can actually do katsu two or three times a day. Whereas if you did no. bench press, <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't possibly do that a heavy weight right. training day, you know, in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Um, so that's why when guys, Usually guys are trying to build bulk very quickly. This is what they can do because they can do it repeatedly throughout the day. Because they're not causing muscle damage. Correct. Correct. Right. Yeah. I'll so I mean, and, and some people, some some people want, <laughs> you know, some people want a combination of, um, you know, I don't know, uh, a bigger tricep, but they want to be aerobically fit. Mm -hmm. So they could do a combination of protocols, like something that Laurel's doing, cots walking, but then also slow um, movements, you know, contracted in the you know negative and positive directions. We'll have to do slow contracted and negative and positive direction this oh, week then, because that oh it's it's terrible and yeah. it's like the smallest minute. It's like our lunge knee drop yesterday, but like even. Yes. more micro it's hard sometimes because i worry about losing people if we do stuff like that because it's so precise but i think it's really important to incorporate that um just so people get a range and you know you see yeah. what's all possible so. i mean even, even a um you know a push-up where you go a five second count down and a five second count up you do that any anyway without katsu that that's not many people can do that but if you do it with katsu right. it's really it really builds up lactate very quickly so, yeah but we can we can basically take any of laurel's exercises and do them super slow exactly and exactly. that all yeah yeah just yeah super duper slow yeah 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 and and we do that sometimes when someone's rehabilitating from especially from a joint injury mm -hmm. but but in this case if they're weak we're not actually asking them to contract the muscle because if, if they contract the muscle, it, it becomes difficult very easily. Hmm. They're just moving the muscle slowly. So, oh, so, it's the so instead of like squeezing of, through it, you just have them move through it? Yes, yes. So it's working through like a range of motion yes. as opposed to squeezing yes. through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So it, it depends, you know, and so sometimes you have a, um, a football player who wants doesn't want their biceps to go down, but they want to stay physically fit and they just came off a knee injury. <laughs> so, so there's a variety of protocols Ooh. that he has to do depending on the body part. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. All right. No I'm, I'm continuing to learn too, so it's helpful. Yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah, you were you're talking about rehab, and I've done that. I, mean, I, I sent a protocol to John for shoulders, and, and part of it is, um, you know, doing lifts like this, but I've been doing them isometrically. You know, I okay. set up 
you know, I get band or um, uh, webbing. Yeah. And put handles on it and then stand on them and come up and, and with the bands on and then do them isometrically and do, do like six seconds isometric to failure. Okay, good. Like, like six sets of that in, in all three directions. Uh -huh. And it doesn't cause any, because I'm not moving. Right. It doesn't cause any, any irritation in the shoulder. Yes. Yes. So yeah, so you know, that's why that's why I believe cuts is so convenient, because it's the same right. equipment, but you can use it in a variety of ways. Right, yeah. Even in the same person, when their body parts may be injured or, or not, and depending on their goal. Yeah, I mean, I I when I lounge on like Sunday nights, sometimes I'll just toss my bands on my legs <laughs> to help me recoup. <laughs> from the week of teaching and it like helps you know just kind of release all that so yeah. i'm hooked <laughs> cool thank you so much for that steve right. i appreciate it Thanks, steve. Bye. bye